He's black. He's got the ball. I like this. Don't pass to the white guy. Don't pass to the white guy. Fuck! Get rid of it! And he missed it. He missed it. Of course he fucking missed it. Of my John, life. You of my life. life. Of my life. Stab it with the fucking stick, you asshole. Your word! Your word! Hey, dude, you should be in fucking jail. You cunt. Just bought a car. Cash money. <laughs> fucking used car. Fucking shoe polish in your hair. Coming down there looking like a sexy scarecrow. Don't blow it. Keep it simple. Count your money. It's like a boss. All right. So that movie, The Orphan. If you haven't seen it, if you've driven by any sort of bus stop or anything, it's that one that has that really psycho-looking eight-year-old on it. And it says, uh, there's something wrong with the... What the fuck is her name? It's not Emma. It's one of those old person names. Emma, not Elvira... Ah, shit. See, this is how my brain works. Now I'm fucked. What the fuck is that little twat's name there? My name is Esther. What's yours? There's something wrong. Ah, Christ. Whatever. It says there's something wrong with this fucking chick, eight-year-old girl with an old person's name. All right? So you go, you watch the fucking movie. Basically, she's an orphan. This couple comes down. They want to, you know, they want to adopt a kid for some fucking reason. So they, they pick this girl who is dressed like she's from the 1800s and she has like a piece of thread around her throat that she won't take off and on her wrists. A few times people try to remove it at the orphanage and she completely freaks out. She wears those ribbons on her wrists and her neck all the time. The only time we've ever had trouble with her is when we've tried to take them off. So the whole time she's being a fucking psycho. She's trying to kill their natural kids and, um, you know, their life was basically fine. And then they get this kid and everything, you know, the fucking house catches on fire, all this fucked up stuff. But one of the requirements of old school horror movies is that you have to have unbelievably stupid people in it. And um, I actually, the, the white people in this movie were so fucking dumb, I almost got offended. I almost like wrote a letter. It's like they got this giant tree for it and the dude looks... <laughs> He looks out the window and the fucking thing is engulfed in flames as his natural son is hanging from the tree trying not to fall, which he does. <laughs> and ends up in intensive fucking care. And the fucking wife is sitting there going like, I think there's something wrong with this fucking chick with the old person name that dresses like she's in the 1800s. And the kicker, she has a Transylvanian accent. Okay. What did you do? Okay. What did you do to me, you bitch? Stop, stop. Orly, Orly, try to kill my baby. Stop me. I want to play the piano. What? I can't even fucking do it. She's just—it's like you're a psycho. Get the fuck out of my life, right? You have a piano? Yeah. <laughs> you like to learn how to play? I would love to. Then she starts killing people. People start disappearing right and fucking left. And they're sitting there, the couple, I don't know what's going on. She's being so weird, <laughs> right? So basically in the end, what you find out, what's wrong with the girl, is that she's not eight years old. She's actually 33. She has... <laughs> She has some sort of disease that makes her look like she's eight. And she used to be in an insane asylum. She has a rare hormone disorder. It's called hypopituitarism. It causes proportional dwarfism. She only looks like a child. According to our records, Lena Klammer was born in 1976. And she used to be in an insane asylum because she murdered her family. And she escaped somehow from Germany. She somehow escaped the insane asylum, got herself in an orphanage with no fucking passport, no paperwork whatsoever, got herself into an orphanage in America, and the kicker is she somehow went to a dentist who agreed to make her a full upper and a full lower denture of children's teeth. <laughs> Which she pulls out in the end as you're discovering that she's 33 years old. And then this little fucking dwarf 
middle-aged psycho cunt comes in and somehow is able to stab to death an adult. I, it was just the stupidest fucking thing. I, I was, it was great. It's just a fucking... And even though I told you everything, basically, that happens, it's still a fucking hilarious movie. It was weird. Somebody wrote this great email to me. They said, I've never been absolutely terrified while laughing my ass off for 90 minutes of my entire life. And that is the experience of The Orphan. It's just a fucking great, stupid movie. I don't know. It just reminds me how it had all the cheesy lines. She's crawling out of the pond. Mommy, save you. Save me. And then she's like, for the last time, I'm not your fucking mother. Don't let me die, Mommy. (sighs) I'm not. Fucking mommy! And then she kicks her right in her fucking 33-year-old, eight, eight-year-old face. And she goes back down to the bottom of the pond. And I guess that was supposed to be the applause break. Which it would have got if it was still 1984. But whatever. It's, I don't know, as much as I just trashed it, it's still a good movie. I felt bad for the actor playing the dad in the movie. Because I just pictured him in between takes, trying to figure out how he could be that guy... And just looking at the director going, so basically, my character's a fucking moron, right? So in this scene, I'm still a moron who can't put one and one together and get um, maybe, you know, because nothing caught on fire and no one was murdered in my house before we got the fucking chick who sounds like she's doing a Dracula impression. Maybe I could put those two fucking numbers together and guess that it's, it's Emma or Ezra, or whatever the fuck her fucking name is. There's something wrong with her. The fuck is her? I have to look it up. I have to get this orphan. Let me type this in. Cleo, what the fuck was that psycho chick's name? Huh? Full cast and crew. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. There's something wrong with Esther. How the fuck did I forget that? Esther. Who calls a little white girl Esther? That's a, that's an old black woman name, isn't it? Esther. Was that the name of the Was that the name of Florida Evans' character, or was that the name of the of the ugly girl on uh, Sanford and Son? It was Aunt Esther. That was yeah. Listen, Esther, you're not the only one that knows something about the Bible. Remember this: He who keep running thy lippies will get their lippies splitted with one of these. And therefore, because I saw one person who was black, who had that name, therefore everybody. See how I do that? I like to generalize everybody because I'm a moron. All right, let's get back to the fucking podcast here. Um, What's up, guys? Alan Palin here, and I'm just saying thanks for all the subscribers. And um, for real, it's been a cool year, 100 videos, one year. This was 101 special. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Burr. And, uh, yeah, thanks. The next year is going to go even hotter. Take care. All right. Peace. Ooh.